Many neighborhoods froze across central Florida this morning, maybe not literally, but it was really chilly. In Orlando, in fact, it was our coldest in two years. Yes, yeah, central Floridians weren't the only ones huddled together. As temperatures go down, the number of manatees goes way up at Blue Springs State Park, which is where certified meteorologist George Weldenberger was today at sunrise, which is the coldest time of the day, of course, to take a roll call of the manatees. So, George, you thought you might find a record high number of manatees at the spring. Yeah, record numbers are actually possible this week, according to SaveTheManatee.org. But because of the wind, it was tough to get an accurate count. And then our routine manatee count turned into a manatee rescue. This is one of the coldest mornings in two years. So what could bring crowds of people out in this 30-degree weather at sunrise? Well, crowds of manatees, almost 500 of them staying warm in the 72-degree waters of Blue Spring. Unfortunately, since the weather has been fluctuating so much, we already had some manatees that died from cold stress this season. These warm spring waters are a sanctuary from the cold that can kill these manatees. But as we were about to find out... Looks like it's struggling to, keep, to get breath, so this might be something... I have to assume. There are threats here, too. Okay, copy that. Cora with SaveTheManatee.org had to rush off to try and save the manatee. We're going to try to go up and meet her and see uh, how the manatee is doing. We found the rescue, staying back so as to not get in the way. Through the trees, though, we could see splashing water as the frantic manatee was trying to get loose. Then... We're the ones that found her. Oh, God, go get warm. Thank you. So it was Good like, it was so sad. It was Thank so you. sad. Watch her. She was, and you could tell she was stressed because at first she couldn't get quite up enough to get a breath. I'll finish it. So you jumped in with all your clothes? Heck yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, she was fine. We were able to cut it off. Here's a picture of the manatee entangled to this cord as if it were on a leash. There was no way that manatee could get out of there um, himself. So me and the park manager um, got into the water um, with a knife and were able to remove the line um, from the flippers. In this case, human intervention saved the manatee. But last year, another human impact, boats colliding with manatees, has killed a record number of manatees in the state of Florida. Yeah, so last year, 137 manatees died in the state of Florida after being struck by watercraft like boats. And this is a record, according to SaveTheManatee.org. Yeah, if you break down into counties, number one is Lee County. That's Fort Myers area in the state. Number two, though, Brevard and Volusia. They're two and three in the state for manatee deaths related to these collisions with watercrafts, a record nobody wants. No, not at all. But despite this, a record high number of manatees may actually come to Blue Spring this year. Uh, this is in Volusia County, but the reason why is these springs are their sanctuary, and the manatees know that. Today there were 448 manatees, just uh, over 100 from a record. That's right. Now those numbers of manatees are likely to go down the next few days because temperatures are already starting a warm-up.